Travis got it here. Look, man, somebody tagged me in this video of this dog being thrown off a cliff, which is extremely fucked up. It is fucked up to throw a dog off a cliff. You know, and I don't think that anybody should be doing that unless, you know, if the dog was trying to attack him, then, you know, if he was defending himself, then that would be one thing. But he just threw it off of a cliff. But the reason that I'm making this video, man, is because of the reactions that this video got. It's like white people care more about dogs than they care about black people. They didn't give a they don't give a fuck when an innocent black person get killed. You know, it's no big outrage. People not crying or talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people sympathize for an innocent black person getting killed. I'm not saying everybody is racist. But I'm saying like the vast majority, you say black lives matter. No, all lives matter. What about all lives? You know, I mean, let's just focus on this black life right now. And then when a white person innocently get killed, then we focus on them. But no, they just jump right. All lives matter. But let's check out this video real quick, man were rolling and a neighbor was actually watching this all happen as a pit bull pup ran he just jumped in the window that many believe is her owner happily jumping guy, inside his car through the open see, passenger got out side the window but seconds later that just same man is seen getting out it's of the car up, dog right? in hand and after looking around to make sure no one was watching he mercilessly threw the dog over the side of a hill and then he walked away drove away just like that the neighbor that saw it all happen rushed out with a flashlight found the dog and saved her a bush had apparently stopped her free fall and miraculously she wasn't injured even though she had tumbled down the hillside about 15 to 20 feet miraculously now, neighbors wasn't that injured she does somebody came to save them who they say later came back to this area where's people saving Where's people saving black people when they're getting shot at or getting Alexander, beat up get out of here. by the police? The way. This dog is very kind. It's very you know, kind. Some, it, how come somebody could treat her like that? How can somebody treat the dog right. like so that? Yeah, it's bad, but damn. How can somebody just shoot a black person with their hands up? Or a black person that's surrendering? If you recognize him, if you know him, please call the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, their East L.A. station. We've reached out to them and also to Animal Control for their reaction. The search is on. The cameras is rolling. If you know anybody that uh, know this person, please contact us. Now, let's see the emotional reactions on Facebook from these people. Okay, you see, out of 22,000 um, reviews, we'll say, of this video, uh, 22, uh, 2,200, I'm sorry. Now, you see, let me get it where it's clear. Okay, you see 1.4 thousand is uh, angry. And um, let me see. Try to zoom this in. Okay, 341 likes, 305 sad, 66, oh no, yeah, and then 66 is shocked. And then only three people has the, uh, where they laugh and they thought it was funny. Only three. Those type of reactions don't happen like that when an innocent black person get killed. You know what I'm saying? Out of 2,200, only three is laughing about it. And nearly everybody is either shocked, sad, or upset. And then, you know, somebody tagged me in it and said, do you recognize this fat fuck? Because it happened in L.A. And no, I don't recognize him, but I'm glad that he tagged me because look, look at the look at the responses, man. Now, y'all know when a black person get killed, you know, people jumping on there trolling you saying all lives matter. What about everybody's life? All lives matter. You know what I'm saying? Just completely ignoring the fact that an innocent black person get killed. You know what I'm saying? And don't even allow you to grieve. Look at this response right here. Find him and throw him off of a cliff after his arms and legs are broken. 283 likes. Are they saying find that police and throw him off of a cliff? Or find that police and shoot him in the head? Or shoot him up while he's reaching for his license after you ask him to reach for his license? You know, I'm not sorry for saying the following. This man deserves to be shot, tased, thrown from a cliff, and beat to death with a baseball bat. This guy is nothing but a monster. He needs to be brought to justice just for throwing a dog off of a cliff that survived. Do you see any white people saying these type of things that shit happen to the police when they beat us up for no good reason or shoot us and kill us for no good reason? That's 176 likes right there. And let's see, um, this guy's a monster. He was friendly enough to get in the car, even if it wasn't his dog. 
in um, what a monster this guy is. Another human being that does not deserve to be alive. He does not deserve to be alive just by throwing a fucking dog off of a cliff that survived. Who really invaded his car. You know what I'm saying? You know, the dog was kind of in the wrong, but he didn't deserve to get through off of a cliff. But still, he don't deserve to be alive just by throwing a dog off a cliff. Do you see why people saying, oh man, that cop don't deserve to be alive? No, the, the cop is suspended with leave, paid leave. And then um, these same type of white people, they will donate to these white people, especially if they get fired or go to trial, they donate some of these officers that became millionaires just by killing an innocent black person. And then they will defend that person, that cop. They will defend him. Makes me so mad. Can we find him and throw him off of a cliff? That's what he needs. Poor baby. Thank goodness a nice neighbor now has the dog. If you didn't want her, then why did you have her? Huh, I hate stupid, mean, and cruel people. Did you hate stupid, mean, and cruel cops? who kill innocent people, who beat up people, black people wrongly? Do you hate them? And do you think they're cruel? They're going to hell. It's disgusting. I mean, it goes on and on. I hope he gets what he's coming to him. Poor dog. He doesn't deserve this. Glad someone came along and took him home. I mean, it, it just don't stop, man. I don't understand why people think it's okay to do this. If you care for the animal, if you don't care for that animal anymore, give it away to someone who can care for it. Do whatever it takes to find a loving new home, but just don't harm or give up on them. They all feel sorry for a fucking dog, which I mean, I admit that the guy was wrong. He was really wrong. He shouldn't have did the dog like that. He could have just, you know, pushed the dog out of his car and then drove off, let the windows up so the dog can come back. But the outrage just by one dog getting through off of a cliff that survived. Wow. A innocent black person, nearly every day in an unarmed black person, black man is killed by the cops and you do not see this type of outrage because of it. And it goes on and on. What is wrong with people? Thank goodness for the neighbors who rescued her you know, and are giving her a loving home makes me sad and disgusted with anyone who can harm an animal. This shit is just ridiculous, man. I hope to God someone knows who this pig is. I would throw him off of that cliff. That poor dog was looking for a home or safety. I mean, it, it'll never stop. I mean, I can keep going on and on, but you get the point, man. It's fucked up how they do us. You know what I'm saying? And people don't give a fuck about us this much. Yeah, some people care. Some white people do care. You know, a concern. But this type of outrage, everybody. I mean, it's not just, it's not one person on there saying that dog got what he deserves. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, he shouldn't have jumped in the car. You know, it's not one person defending that man. They're all saying he deserves to be thrown off of a cliff. He deserves to be shot, tased, and stabbed, and beaten with a baseball bat. He does not deserve to live. But when an unarmed black person get killed, they don't even care. They probably wouldn't even watch the video or even share it, or definitely probably wouldn't take the time to bother to comment on the video. But just because this little bitty dog, this poor dog got thrown off of a cliff, everybody is crying about it. Everybody. Look at this fat piece of slime. Cage him and starve him. Beat him and really torture him. He'd be begging for mercy for me, but none would come. Wow. See, that's how much people care about us in America as black men. You know, they care about dogs more than they care about human life. They is so sad and distraught over a fucking dog. But we get shot like dogs every fucking day. We gotta approach every situation with the police with fear that they could kill us any given moment. And then we get trolled by All Lives Matter, AKA clan members, basically. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all racist. And then y'all come and troll us when we trying to grieve and show our sympathy towards these black families. And y'all don't give a fuck about that. Y'all just come on our posts and talk shit. Come on our videos and talk shit. But everybody's feeling sorry for a fucking dog. I'm Travis Gotti.
Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing.